kind of excited and scared at the same time. I think uh, I think a lot of fans are going to like it and really like the way that we grew and progressed. And I think some fans are probably going to hate us for it and wish that we were just playing thrash songs for the rest of our career. But um, that's not really what we want to do. I'd rather take a chance on something that I want to do and something that I respect and something that I would want to hear rather than play, you know, the safe card and just do the same shit over and over again. It's going to be a toss-up, you know. There's going to be fans that are going to not like it and might not follow us, and then there's going to be a whole new realm of fans that, that are, you know, may not even heard of us. That this album really opens up the door to... Because it is different of us, you know, and they might be skeptical of the vocal change or the groovier, more musical aspect to the album. You know, but I think, I think overall people really enjoy it. I think on the second disc, you know, a lot of bands struggle with the sophomore slump. I don't, I don't think we hit that. I think uh, we hit it in stride and we really connected with this record. And I really think that it's going to do what it needs to do. Bass is a fucking joke. Especially if you play in a fucking metal band. It's a fucking joke. It's all single note bullshit that a toddler could play. <laughs> Your damn mind, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're in one of them fucking whittler bands that like to fucking whittle their dicks off. I don't do none of that fucking tomfoolery. I play single note, low end, fucking heavy, fucking metal. All the rhythm sections and all the, the interludes and the, and the bridges and all that stuff, it's all pieced together in a way that makes the song better. We didn't do a lot of that on the first record. It was more of a punk rock record, you know, in the sense that it was throw and go, we, we recorded the album in 10 days, you know, back in January of 07. A lot more went into just not trying to play as fast as we could and show off how, you know, that we could pummel your face in. Now we want to show off how many different ways we can pummel your face in. The, the guitar tone on this fucking album is killer, and, and Chris helped us get that. We basically ran our EDHs through the EVH cabinet, which has specially born speakers, and then one of his cabinets, which is the Marshall 1960, which has um, Celestion 75s in them. We're not that band that wants to stay the same. You know, we want to constantly be changing and constantly moving forward with our music and, you know, just to explore different, you know, aspects of the heavy, you know, of the fucking brutal. You know, bands like Slayer and stuff like that, like they can get away with, you know, not changing their sound. It's worked for them, but for a lot of other bands it doesn't. And we're just not that band. We're not that band that wants to stay the same. Mm -hmm. 